I'm a traveling spirit. I've seen many shores, from the West Pacific to the island of Kenya. They treat me like a son anywhere I go, and even though no one can tell, I still feel that I. Hello, adventurers, and welcome back to my channel. Today we are in Texas at Ladonia Fossil Park, where we're going to be digging up some fossils, we, we hope. That's the goal. It's a beautiful day out here. We're in the riverbed, and we're about to get the hands on. Putting up some gear. Woo! Okay, is this a donut or is this possibly some kind of prehistoric vertebra? Dad looked <laughs> down and found this and it is crazy looking. After washing it up, it has some little indentions. And they do have something that looks kind of like this on a much smaller scale that I've seen online. So maybe, just maybe, this is something. Now on today's adventure, I do have both my parents with me, so mom and dad, and we're all kind of on a mission to see who can find the coolest thing today. Now that rock is already pretty cool, but you know, again, we're not sure if it's anything, so we're just gonna keep on going, and they are clearly getting a head start, and they have more tools than I do. <sighs> I didn't bring you much with me. They brought everything. What is this? Could that be something? It looks a little, looks like it has some uh, texture to it. Huh, we'll definitely put that in the bag to find out more about. A little update. So far we found lots of cool stuff. Not sure if it's fossils or just really cool looking rocks yet, but um, yeah, this has been kind of fun. And there are tons of people here. I'm on a weekend and so it's a little crazy. If you're wanting to avoid crowds, come out, I guess, during the week. But look at this, it's a perfect day for fossil hunting. And uh, I think I'm getting a little pink. It might be time to put on some sunscreen. Okay, so mom just found this and she's thinking it might be something. It Don't does know. have some little indentions there. But to clean it up. Okay. And I think that's one of the cool things is when you come out here, sometimes even the most cool of fossils might not quite look like what you'd expect. So we're gonna keep looking for shark teeth and things like that, but so far we haven't found any of those. Okay guys, so we stayed in this little spot for a while and there's so many people and they're all stopping kind of in that same area. So I think we're gonna head down the bank a little bit. There is so much room to explore. So off we go. Mom and dad are like right behind me. They were finishing up putting things away. We have a few 
potentials and mom did find a pretty cool little shell that was really neat so off we go Okay, so this section that mom is currently digging in is a little bit different than the riverbed. This has clay in it, and this is the area that kind of washes down from the top. So she's hoping to find something in here. I don't know if she will or not, but it definitely has a different texture than what we've been working with. So maybe, oh, maybe, maybe, what is that? Uh, it's not what I thought. Huh, that definitely has some ridges in it. Is it? Uh, maybe. Now along the riverbed itself, you find a lot of shale and it just kind of like flakes apart as it gets wet. And so some of the things look pretty cool and then you go to wash them off and they completely disintegrate. But that's kind of the fun of it. It's like the ultimate where's Waldo out here. You're looking for some tiny little things amongst all of this space. And it is kind of fun, I will say. It is also something that requires some patience because it's not like you're just gonna come out here and be as lucky as dad and find something right off the bat. look what I found this is cool it looks like it was a shell it may or may not be dad found a crawdad oh cool you see? yeah Okay, so we're back from Ladonia Fossil Park and we have some things to look at. Mom has already taken the time to clean up everything that's in here and now we get to uh, show you what we found. There's some cool stuff in here, but I'm gonna get mom to come over here and help me because she was reading a little bit more about them. So I think she might have a better concept as to what some of these things are. Okay, so we've set everything out on my little camp table right here and we have a little towel under it. So I think we're gonna just spread everything out and then show you a little closer what we have found. Okay, so mom is with our table right now and tons of different things as you can see, but mom, why don't you show them some of the ones that you think are your favorites? Okay, of course we have to go with this one here. This was the first to find, the largest, and I don't know exactly what it is. If you look at it, we kind of think it might be a vertebrae. 
I think that would be super cool if it's a vertebra. Dad actually found that one and he found it just literally looking down. And it has a little tiny crack in it. I don't know if you can see that, hang on. So you can see that right there, there's a little hairline crack, but it's pretty large. I mean, it's as big as my hand. This was definitely the big find of the day, even if it turns out to be nothing. This was super cool. It looks like it's something though. We were noticing on some of the texts that it said that if you have a lighter color on the outside and a darker color on the inside, that that can usually be an indicator. So this one's definitely our donut. Okay, mom, what's next up? You're looking at something over there. I well, can see the gears turning. I know. This, I think it's the next cool thing. Now this is what we believe to be a tooth of some kind. We kind of looked at some photos online at the Ladonia Fossil Park Facebook page, and this kind of looks like some of the other things that they're finding out there. Teeth are pretty common to find, as are sometimes like bones and arrowheads. So that's what we're looking for, and I think we were successful in finding this one, but mom has a couple others over there as well. Okay, this one looks a little bit like an arrowhead. It's not real sharp pointed. It was in the river, so it may have been all washed the little points away. And we did find out that sometimes when you find those and they have been in the water, they do kind of look a little bit more like this. So if you are an expert, let us know in the comments below, but we were kind of leaning toward that. If not, that's okay too, but it was really cool find. Now these three right here are three that we think kind of look like shells because look at this, it has like the little indentions. You can see that kind of how they're raised. It, it looks like a shell. So that's kind of what neighborhood we're thinking. And again, they do look similar to others that have found similar things that have called them shells. Okay, so these are really curious looking and they are tiny, but they look like little tubes. And mom, what did we learn about these possibly? It, possibly they're crinoids. Kind of neat. And these aren't things that you would normally think of when you're out in the huge riverbed. Hey, let me go find this tiny little thing. But finding them was super cool. Okay, and all of this right here, we were thinking it was what, mom? These look like bones. Okay, so little all of this, of bone. little bone pieces. That's kind of neat. And we found tons of these, but we didn't know for sure. And then when we were looking at it, we were like, oh my gosh, there were so many of those out there. So if you guys go out to the Ladonia Fossil Park, look for these. This is gonna be your easiest find. I wanted to show this kind of up close here. Look at this. So you can see that it's really super porous and you can see all of the different little indentions in it. That's kind of cool. And it does feel different than just like a traditional rock. Now, while mom is packing all those up, just know that we will continue to look into this and try to figure out exactly what all those tiny little pieces are. If you do have expertise in this though, let me know because I would love to know a little bit more about each one of those things. And mom would like to share it with her students at the school. Okay, now that we are back from the fossil park, let's talk about a few things that you probably need to know. The first thing that I would definitely say is it's kind of hard actually to get down to the riverbed itself. It's pretty steep and as you continue down by the wall that they've created, the steps get bigger and bigger and bigger until finally you're taking ginormous, almost waist high steps. So if you're not comfortable in your feet or you're limited in your mobility, I would probably pass. By the time that you get down to where the river actually is, you're basically hanging onto a wall as you walk a very narrow path until it eventually kind of sloughs off into where you're going to be looking for fossils. Again, kind of difficult. But boy, oh boy, once you actually get down to the bottom, it is cool. Or should I say hot? It's kind of warm down there. Make sure you bring some water. We brought a little bit of water and dad still noticed that when climbing out, he was getting a little bit winded. So be careful. You'll also want to bring a few things with you. We brought shovels and sifters and some additional things that we could use to pour water and that made it a lot easier for us to go through a very large amount of space in a very short amount of time. You can just eyeball things but if you bring things to dig in it's a little bit more convenient and that'll enable you to find things a little bit better. Also you need something to carry back whatever you 
you find in because anything that you find you can keep and so I recommend a bucket of some kind. Just going around on the riverbed you can find all sorts of interesting things from seashells and teeth to ammonites and pieces of bone. There's so many cool things that have been pulled out of the Ladonia Fossil Park and I definitely encourage you guys to get out there and try to find some of your own because it's really cool. There's a couple of local fossil experts who do have YouTube channels and I will link them below. They talk a lot about the different things that they found in that area and some of the things will blow your mind. Now as a novice fossil finder, meaning that this is one of my only times to ever go looking for fossils, was it worth it? Absolutely. Did I have a blast? Oh yes. Would I recommend this for families? Definitely. 